little bit late. Bloody George is getting at me for this. Keith's not going to be here anyway till we're like nine. That's what he told me. Is that bloody George? <laughs> That's George, that is. What are you doing? Bloody hell, i got traffic behind me. He can't be doing this every day, surely. What are you doing? Fuck off, you woolly clown. I'm bloody driving here. <laughs> George, hurry up. Good boomer off. Go around. Go around. What are you doing? Why did bloody owe it? You right, you can boomer off. That's it. I can't believe <laughs> how slow is he going? <laughs> Honestly, if that's what he does every day when he goes on his donut run. <laughs> God, I bet he makes a lot of people angry. <laughs> I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to wait for him. It's got to be done. <laughs> He's still going to have a go at me for being late, but still. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Look how long it's taking to get up that hill. Christ, let's recharge the battery on that thing. Come on, George, you ain't got all day. You know, you're you're stopping me from getting here on time now. It's got to be close, surely. I've got to drive back down the hill and back up again. <laughs> Not laughing. Come on, get back to work. <laughs> what are you doing? Honestly. <laughs> Hurry up! Over off! God, man, God, how many beats nowadays? Yeah, why are you going so slow? It goes faster than that. Over off! How many times do you have to say it? I'm going spell it out for you. Over off! None of you bloody beat me. <laughs> What's all wrong with you? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me, mate. It's you. Yeah, hey, well, Keith's here already. Bloody hell. He's, gonna, he's definitely going to have a go at me then if Keith's up. Wait. Oh, God, he's just hilarious. Isn't he? What, right? What time do you call this? <laughs> I would have been here sooner if Womp stuck behind you. Don't hear you dare do that. That's not right. You should have been here before I even went down bloody donut shop. Now look at it, bloody, what time is it? It's nearly bloody eight o'clock, Scroft. Well, you told me that, you know, I didn't have much to do and I was waiting for, for Keith. All right, look, Keith's here. Yeah, you told me he won't be here till nine, I'm here at eight. Well, still, bloody hell, I pay you get here same time every day, no matter what's on. But I'll always find your work, don't you worry about that. You come to me and tell me there's nothing on, I'll find your bloody work. You can bloody clean me shoes and shine them up for me. <laughs> I ain't no shoe shiner. Well, bloody hell, I'll give you a shiner if you carry on. <laughs> Driving behind me like that, bloody hell, fire. Honestly, you scared the living life out of me, someone beeping behind me, and then there you are, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. <laughs> no, how fast are you going in that? About eight mile an hour. <laughs> eight mile an hour? George, it does about 15. Oh, I don't want to feel safe on it, 15. Look at that. Do eight. Oh, God, you should have seen him then, Keith. <laughs> right, Keith. Right, right, right. Oh, what happened? What's happened? This bloody clown, that's what happened. He was there, behind me in his bloody truck. Big bloody gas guzzling truck behind me whilst I'm on my bloody scooter trying to save the environment. <laughs> save the environment? You're just bloody lazy. If you're going to do that, you should walk. Them lithium batteries in there aren't really environmentally friendly. Bloody lithium battery? What are you on about? I bloody charged up. Yeah, exactly. Using energy that's probably not environmentally friendly. I'm telling you. People are conning you when they say this electric thing's that environmentally friendly. It's in the right. I want to go into that now. Well, you won't see how much it arms the environment when they make them batteries for them things. I'm just saying. Well, bloody hell, what is this? Bloody preach, you know? Are you running for election? You want to try and take my councillor job? <laughs> it seems like it's easy. You hardly do anything. Uh, cheeky bugger, I'm actually working my socks off. Tell you that now, I've got a bloody thing coming up next month. I know you have. I've seen nothing or heard nothing about it. Well, it's because it's a surprise for everybody. It'll be fun, I'm telling you. 
bit of a community fair. You know, it's nothing like second hand brand new day, but still, should be fun. Is it like what what happened last time? I said same spot, but it should be a little bit different. Hopefully, better for the family and stuff like that. <laughs> All right then. Well, when's this happening? September. I was going to do it in August, but better do it in September. So hopefully, we get nice weather for it. <laughs> yeah. Right, come on, make a bloody brute. You want Keith? I don't mind, mate. I'll get you one on. Ah, right, stop bloody faffing. <laughs> Will do. Ah, it's a good brew, that is. Ah, oh, didn't too bad. Didn't too bad. Do it yourself next time, then. You know what I'm saying? It's all right, right? Don't worry, Christ. What the hell, are you? What right, time are you kicking off today then? So now it's up to, it's up to Keith. I'll check moisture. Ah, oh, we should be good. We got did did well yesterday. Yeah, we did really well. Ah, spot on. Did Ross sort the massy out? I've had a look out window. Ah, oh, yeah, Beanie's been on it. I've since cleaned it as well. So, unlike you, seen that bloody harvester. What's the point in me cleaning that, George? We're using it today. Well, I'm just saying, you have bloody clean it. Beanie's out there cleaning. Top of a job starts early every time. God almighty. Honestly, I got the wrong one, I did. <laughs> ah, I got the wrong boss. I might go work for Jerry. What don't you start? He'd take me. I bloody know he would. And he could have you. I'll even pay him take you off my hands. Pucker off. You, that's not true, George. You'd be lost without me. You're bloody pushing your luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> right then, I'm only winding you up. Ah, oh, well, bloody cease it. Cease bloody winding me up. <laughs> right then. Fair play, I'll stop. Right, what time do you want to kick off then, Keith? Uh, about midday, right, aren't we? Midday? Well, right, I really hate on it. I'm getting all you out there and. Well, I'm getting all you out of here. A big one, uh, you said I'm a little one, right? Uh. What's he say? He said you got big one, little one, basically, and be a right by midday. Yeah, that's a good point, ah. Uh, let the sun come out. Ah, oh, well, you can help me then. Wow, what are you doing? Still milking cows. What about at this time? Well, I was. Listen, right, don't start getting on at me. I started early milk cows. But some of them, right, just letting them roam in when they want. I went and get me donuts, which I'm having now. I had a brew, second one of the day, and yeah, I'll get back out to it. But I need some more feed cows. Do you want me to do that then? Ah, oh, feed cows. You can help me as well at the end, move stuff out, we. Why? Oh, I get what you mean. You keep blocking that off, don't you? Ah. Uh, Makes sense. Yeah, it's good for the cows to have a bit more freedom anyway. Exactly, so quit your bloody moaning, quit your bloody jibber-jabber, and get out to here and help me out. <laughs> right then. Right, go on then. <laughs> Are we going now? Ah, oh, come on. you got three hours till you got get out of Keith and sort that out. I want that in today. I want to get picked up as well. I want to see how much we get. Right, right. see you later, Keith. Right, right, right. I'll be in it. Go on, bloody hell. The hell, George? Do you ever shut your doors? I'll shut my doors in winter, when they meant to be shut. Right <laughs> then, just saying. And I'm holding you to that, George. If we get a good yield, I'm out. A bloody farm, we're out. I didn't specify where to put you, though. At this rate, I'll put you on the bloody roof. <laughs> Fine. Put me on the roof. It's better there. I was next to bloody horse poo. <laughs> where you bloody belong, Christ. <laughs> You're so nice. Hey, get that moisture meter. Yeah, all right then. You may as well while you're here, acting like a yo-yo up and down all the time. <laughs> right then, calm down. Calm down? I was fine till I met you on that road acting like a bloody lunatic. Honestly, like a yobbo. <laughs> what? I say yobbo? A bloody youth. Yobbo. Youth that drives like a maniac trying to kill people. Christ. I'm not trying to kill anyone. I was doing, George, I was literally doing about 30 miles an hour, you know. It just felt fast for you because you were going that slow. Well, maybe so, but still, you know, I was on road, you got to think of me. Ha! <laughs> right then. Right, I'll leave you to it then. Are you getting off milk now? Ah, oh, they come in, look. Got most of them in now, so I'll finish them off. Right um. You can see they're queuing up, the ones they know. They know if they've been milked or not, I'm telling you, because you want that cake out, bloody trough comes through. So, uh, I'll get them finished off, but tell you what, just fill up this for me. Do you want me to do a full feed mix? Uh. Ah, oh, three quarters. 
it will last out will be in tomorrow in this evening, so don't really matter. I'll do a full one then. All right. See you in a bit, buddy. See you in a bit, mate. Right. V mix is there. Where's me? Where's the New Holland? He's out there, borrowed it. Down here? I'm going to need that later. Ah, oh, it'll be gone by then. Crash got three hours. You don't need it now. Go use Fen. All right, then. Use the vent then. I definitely know I left that in there. What's he borrowing it for? Nah, he's probably using it to block off so they can't get past. There, boy. And I know load all's up at shed. Sarge bales are there. So we'll just use that. Fill it up and full mix. Couple of A bales, couple of sarge bales, that'll do the job. And I've got no root crops in yet. Potatoes shouldn't be too far away. That's next month as well. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing what George got planned then for this uh for this uh this kind of agricultural fair he's doing. Should be interesting. <laughs> I hope it's got some I hope it's got some rides there. <laughs> I might be able to get George back on him. <laughs> it's probably gonna be more difficult this time because he knows what he's getting himself in for but oh I'll never forget that in cars when I got him on that bloody ride and he blacked out <laughs> they're the things that just make your day <laughs> shouldn't laugh really but it's too funny it really is I mean him driving up road on that scooter <laughs> honestly I'm gonna swing this around aren't I Get the right side. I'll do. Job done. Hi, Scroth. Oh. Hey, up, Beanie. Sorry, I never saw you there. No, you're all good. I'm just in here with the horses. Oh, nice. You having a good day so far? Yeah, it's good. Sorry I missed you this morning. No, it's fine. I know you were getting in earlier than me. Yeah, I mean, I uh, got told off anyway, like, by George, as you can imagine, even though he told me technically I didn't have to do anything till nine. <laughs> Typical. He's never happy. No. <laughs> Harry Trotter's looking good. Yeah, he's doing really well. He's looking dead healthy, which I'm really happy about. Yeah, it's that hard work you're putting in, Bean. It's paying off. Yeah, I'm taking pride in him now. I really am. You're going to have to decide what you want to do with him soon. Mm, I know, we talked about it, you know, selling Harry Trotter so we can make a bit of extra cash, but I'm just planning on waiting and seeing what George ends up doing with these stables. Yeah, hopefully you'll get some good cash from that. I mean, George said you're going to get 50-50 split. I know, exactly. So, depending on how things turn out, I could be making some really good money for me, for us. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Beanie. You keep working hard, it'll pay off. I'm sure of it, love. Yeah. Won't be long now. We've harvested that field so the bridle path, you know, can start make, taking shape and I'm sure that shed will start going up soon. Yeah, hopefully. And then there's all the planning. I ain't looking forward to that. <laughs> and then it's a stress on me from that, you know, trying to take care of several horses. Well, hopefully it'll kind of ease into it. You won't get too many at the start. Anyway, what are you up to today? Me. Just got harvest due with uh, Keith. So he's sitting in there now. That's about it, really. Yeah. Fancy doing something later? Us two? Yeah, just us two. Yeah, that sounds awesome. What are you thinking? Mm, we could go out for a meal. Yeah, do you want to go for a meal? Yeah. Should we go somewhere different than the pub, then? Yeah, let's go like a fancy restaurant. Why not? Treat yourself. Yeah, exactly. All right, um, should we say about 8 o'clock or something? I mean, I should be away by then, get back, get changed. All right, then. I'll wait here and we can head home together, let's say about seven, and then that gives me an hour. That should be plenty of time to get ready. Yeah, perfect. I'm looking forward to that now. Me too. All right, and love, I'll leave you to it, so I best crack on then. Got a, got something finished for now. Well, see you later. See you, love. Oh. Getting out for a fancy meal, then. 
Right, let's get some A-bales in here. I'll try out some of these new ones. May as well. Let's drop two of these in. Hello? Hey, old buddy. Hey, Jerry, you alright? Oh, good, good. It's a really good night day today. Yeah, it's stunning. You seem jolly. Oh, well. Good, my harvest has come in. I've seen what I've got. Hey, did it go well? Oh, it went really well. I was justified uh, buying that second harvester. <laughs> That's good for you, mate. I'm happy. Well done. Oh, well. Uh, you helped me out, so it might be a little bonus coming your way for the next job. Oh, the uh, the straw baling? Ah, uh, are you up for doing it still? Yeah, definitely. When do you want me to do it? Well, that's why I'm ringing you. Are you, are you up for doing it tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I don't see why not. I'll have to speak to George just see if he's got anything on for me, but I'll definitely come up and do some bailing. I'll probably need full day off. You're not going to lie. Will you? Well, I've got plenty of fields here. I've saved all the fields ready to bail. Wow. But remember, put a brand new baler here and you don't want Miss John to try that out. <laughs> yeah, you're right there. All right, and just sign me up for it. I'll be there. What time do you want me? Start early if you want to get here for about eight. Eight. Bloody hell, I'll have to get George's early then. Supposed to be going out for a meal tonight with Beanie, but yeah, go on then, I'll be there for eight. Sounds like a good job, and yeah, yeah, I'll be there at eight o'clock. Okay. If you got any problems with George, just let me know, and then yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll leave it, but. No, he'll be fine, don't worry. Alright then, no worries. See you later, Scroft. See you, mate. That's that done then, that's plenty of feed time over for a bit. Well, bloody hell, fire, watch out! Alright then, where are you? I'm bloody over here, nearly knocked my teeth out. Well, move to the side. Move to the side, you want to look where you're going. The old George, it's a working farm, you know better than anyone. Alright then, you're saying, well, watch yourself. When you pull that up, come for me. Yeah, alright then. Help me out. <laughs> I'm moaning out because I'm reversing. What do you expect me to do? Yeah. I'm going to have to tell him about Jerry now. He should let me do it. I mean, if I've got all the harvest done and I'm away, go out for, with Beanie for 8 o'clock, 12 hours later, back in, help Jerry out. Ah, I can do that. Where are you? I'm over here. Go on, hurry up. Yeah, all right. You want to help me out with these? What? You want... Move them away. Oh, well, I'm going to need space, aren't you? For harvest, you got to come up here. All right, then. You can take quad now, you know, before you parked up, go check fields out. Yeah, that's a good point. What time are we on? Half nine. Yeah, all right, and I'll do it. Gives you a chance, doesn't it? You've got plenty of time. Midday, you said, but if it's ready, you can just go for it. Yeah, that's true. Can I, I, I want to get away today as well. Why? What have you got to do? Well, I said to Beanie I'd go out for a meal with her tonight. Oh, day night, oh, day night. <laughs> Shut up, my God. Well, bloody true, innit? Oh, day night, got to get home, eh? Put a bit of the old brute on, you know, smell smell better than you do. <laughs> you bloody stink now, you smell like silence. <laughs> I don't know that bad. You bloody reek, honestly, I tell you. Terrible. You remind me of that bloody. You remind me of Ross in that cupboard. <laughs> I honour that bad. No way. All right then, buddy. What time you got? What time you got table? Well, I got ring up and book it, but eight o'clock is what we're thinking. Oh, you want to do that soon? Don't let it down. I won't. I'll, I'll ring him in then. I'll get it sorted. All right, and yeah, that's fine with me. You seem like you're in a good mood anyway. Ah, uh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm going to ask you something else. Well, this is going to define if I'm in a good mood or not, then, I guess. Christ, if you're going to ask me something that's bloody shocking, I'm not going to be in a good mood after it. You should probably not say that before you ask. You should just bloody ask me. <laughs> right, tomorrow, Jerry wants me to do some work for him, but I need to get there for eight, and I'm probably going to be there most of the day. What? What, are you bloody... what about helping me out? Well, what do you want me to do? If the harvest's in, you know, I've got everything done. I need to feed cows. You know, you got jobs on farm, Scroft. Well, 
if I get here early and feed the cows, am I right doing that? Bloody hell, fire. Well, you're gonna have to get here for 6 a.m. then. <laughs> On your track record, bloody hell, you come here with one eye closed and the other eye open. Well, I'll still be here if that's the case. Ah, fine. Get here for six, though. And I mean it, six. Get the bloody cows fed. Do do me that favour, you know, help me out. And if you got me there all day, I know what it is, that bloody bailing job. Yeah, it is. All right, then, that's fine. Just just make sure you're here for six, right? Get your jobs done, no problem. I will, George, promise you. Right, well, you best bloody sort this out and get out in the field earlier, and especially if you got a meal tonight, Beanie. Last thing I want to do is be the cause that you don't do that. And bloody ring up and book table, because if I tell you, if you've let that girl down, I'll clout you around the back of the head. All right, then. I'll do it, I promise you. Tell George, remember, she's my... What were you going to say, then? Well, I was going to say my missus, but... Well, she ain't yet. You haven't got down on one knee, you clown. I know, but you know what I mean. She's my partner. No, not really. She's girlfriend. She's bloody girlfriend that you live with, but have you asked to marry her? No, not yet. Have you even thought about it? No, not, not really, because I'm happy. Bloody hell, fire scruff. She deserves better than that. All right then, George. I'll do them things in my own time. You ain't got no one to tell you these things. I don't know nothing about your past. Where's your dad? Your dad telling you these things. He should be. Well... So what the hell is this now, George? Well, see, bloody hell, it's awkward hour, that's what it is. Right, we're going to leave it there, right? Don't worry about that, we're both happy. I want to see you on. Got a good girl there, Scroft. You want to do right by her? I do right by her, George. I know, but do right by her. I mean it. Don't have messed up. I want to mess up, I'm taking her out for a meal, George. You know, we, we enjoy each other's company, we get along. We're happy. All right, then. Think about what I said. Yeah, all right, then. Right, I'll get these shifted. Ah. Uh, start with that bloody quad, because I'm reversing that forward out there. Yeah, I'll do it all, George. You don't worry. All right, then. See you in a bit. See you, mate. I'll come in the house as soon as I'm done. I'll let you know what the moisture is. All right, see you in a bit. Bloody hell, not half asking me some bloody questions then, is he? Bloody hell, it's like planning my life out for me. <laughs> I mean, I've not really thought about any of that, you know. I'm happy. I love the girl and, yeah, I've told her that. Yeah. Maybe that is something that happens in the future. Anyway, let's focus on getting this day done so we can go out for this meal. Right, this should be a good spot, but it's all, isn't it, this OSR? Ugh. I mean, there's not really much shade around this field anyway, and if most of it's like this, you know, if we get anything that's got, you know, too much moisture, it'll soon average out. Right, let me lean on this. Ah, 10%. So yeah, if we leave it now, that'll be spot on. <laughs> Going well so far with the harvest, and from what Jerry's telling me, he's, he's, he's done really well. And I can see out in his fields are there. He has harvested a lot of them. Should be plenty of bailing tomorrow. I still don't know this bail that he's picked up. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's really good. Probably nothing I've used before. And, uh i ah, be looking forward to doing that. Bit of a change. It's only, it's only a day anyway. George will, George will be alright. Hope so anyway. <laughs> right, let's park this up in here. We'll go get that Ford out white. Park that off. I'm looking at that Ford as well. I didn't like George, but it needs a good clean. I guess you'll probably get me doing that at some point. I didn't like him. I have a bit of dirt on that, and it's definitely picked up a bit of dirt. Bloody hell, that might be the worst I've ever seen it. And again, he did use this a bit more at the start when we were at Carmson. He has it new heights, Auntie George, with this this farm and what he's turned it into. 
If you ever decided to sell this farm, he'd make a fortune. I hope he doesn't, though. I love working here. I love the area. So, hopefully he never decides to do that. I'm going to have to start saving. <laughs> you never know, I might be able to buy it one day. <laughs> In my dreams, maybe. <laughs> Oh, no, he's bloody clown. She's a rate keeper. What are you saying? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Sorry, we were just talking about uh, squirrels. We were talking about squirrels. What? What are you talking about squirrels for? Well, we saw some of that tree. It looked nice, like, you know. Just saying, like... What tree? Uh, that tree there. Where? Dinner there, now it's gone. It Don't worry about it. Put kettle on. Eat then. Acting strange for. I'm just saying, just squirrels out in that trees. You should have seen, right? Funny little bugger. <laughs> oh, you got on anyway? What's he looking like? Uh, 10%. Oh, 10%, that's not too bad. Right, I'll have to give it an hour then. Right then, yeah. Well, all right, well, all right, all right. All right, and Keith, we'll go. We'll go in an hour, eh? All right, all right, all right. I've put trailer and tractor out front, just need swing out. You just have to swing the harvest around, we'll go down the bottom. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come sit down anyway. Have you heard this, Keith? Oh, well, no. He's bloody working for Jerry tomorrow. Full day is. That's for bloody day off here. Still wants to be paying for it. <laughs> no, if you want to, if you want to dot me, like I don't know, a percentage for the day I'm not here. But you, I am coming at six a.m. George to feed the cows. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, you need, you know, you know, you. I don't know bloody need him. I'm alright, Tommy, and I am. Yeah, mate. You know, I ain't a bloody delusional. Bugger off, keep Christ. Ah, well, I ain't going anywhere anyway. Even if he wanted me to, I'm happy. I like my job. Well, it's because you got it bloody easy. <laughs> anyway, he's on about this work I'm doing, right, Keith? He hadn't told you. I arranged it a while ago. I've even told him twice. Not like I've just sprung it on him. And Jerry's got a load of fields that he's going to bail up because he's got this... Oh, well, I don't even know what brand it is, but he's got a brand new baler on lease. Brand new bloody baler on lease? Is that why you're doing it? Yeah. He's going to pay me while he says he's going to give me a bit of a bonus as well because he's had his harvest in. And he's done really well. Has he? Well, I'll find out what he got. He didn't grow any OSR though, did he? No, he was growing linseed... Mainly barley and, and linseed, really. Oh. That's interesting. What did uh, you get yesterday? I got summer. <laughs> Why are you smirking? It's got to be good if you're smirking. Well, I'm not going to tell you. Wait till you've done harvest today. Wait till we sold that and I'll tell you. But, you know, I found out this morning what I got. All right. And, well, I can tell it's good from your reaction. Oh, uh, well. Might be, might not. I'm not saying anything. My lips are sealed, young Scroft. My lips are sealed. <laughs> all right, all right, good then. Right, sure, Keith. You don't know as well. You don't know nothing. You don't know bloody nothing. You're not certain if it was good or not. I'll be back in the bloody veil. I'll be doing iron and I'll be all right, be all right huh? well, Maybe so, but still. You're not bloody certain. You don't know. You haven't seen it. Anyway, just lay off, right? I told you. After this harvest, it's been picked up and sold. I'll let you know tomorrow to total. I'm not going to hide it from you. You know, you work on farm. I don't know why I'm telling you, but I want to wait. A bit of suspense and all that. <laughs> right then, fine. Right, anyway, Keith, let's talk about something more interesting. Like, when's Scroft going to bloody ass Beanie marry him? Oh, for God's sake. We're not doing that. Oh, day night, day night. <laughs> Book her off. <laughs> Be there, Keith. All right, 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 I don't know which one we're going to start with. Not the small one or the big one. Which one do you want to start with first, Keith? Uh, I'll start with the small one. 
All right, and we'll go up here then. All right, Bob. You there, Keith? All right, Bob. How you getting on? All right, Bob. All right, then. I'm there when you need me. All right, Bob. Alright then buddy, just let me know when you need me to come upside and I'll be there. Yeah, small field, ah. Shouldn't be too much, but the next one's a big one. Alright, I might crack on. Wait for him to do first head limbo. I'll just park up here. I might do a bit of harvesting to be honest, but yeah. Shame, isn't it, really? I'll get there at some point. <laughs> anyway, let's put some tunes on. Just sit back and wait for him. Won't take long now. He used about half a tank, you know, that uh, Susanna did. Let's put another half a tank of fuel in that. Yesterday evening when I was setting her up for today. And bloody drinks through it. Absolutely drinks through it, these harvesters do. Oh god, I got close to the header then. Be careful. It'll be difficult because it's short field anyway. Didn't really get much chance, but we'll see if we can just try and help him out when we get before we get to corner. There you go, Keith, I'll wait now, because small field in it, it's a bit tight. All right, Empire. But we're getting good grain off it. Looks like George will be happy. He did seem happy then, though. He's definitely keeping it close to his chest, but I imagine when I learn tomorrow, we're going to find out with some good news anyway. <laughs> but we'll plod along. The other field will take a bit longer, but at least we can fly through this one. That's not too bad, that ain't key for this side field. Alright, well, we're eating it off. Yeah, right, should we start on the next one? Fuck on the arm. <laughs> hey, uh, well, I don't know, I don't know, do you like? What's that then? You want the arm, you know that one? What? I drive the harvester? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody in the heart, you know that one, if you want. Hey, yeah, definitely. Are you sure? Well, we're right, we are. Right, yeah. What are we doing? All right, and what what do you want me to do? You're going to meet me up there then? Well, we're right, yeah. <laughs> are you right, right, right? Yeah, definitely, mate. Nice one. Well, all right, all right. <laughs> I got you coming on. Yeah, exactly. I've done a bit of it, but not not loads, like. Right. Well, we're right, yeah. <laughs> Nice one, Keith. Oh, no worry, but we're right. Yeah, it's bloody filthy this is. Right, let's put the header down and off we go. Says he's gonna follow me up there. Pipe's still out. Yeah. Right, header trailer's up here as well, so I'll get that set, but yes. <laughs> Drive this for a bit. Even if it's just one field, I'm bloody happy with that. Right, I'm gonna have to take my time with this. Started off well, and I could see him in my rear mirror. He's waiting there. Bloody hell, where is it? Oh, it's there. Yeah, I'm getting on all right, mate. I'm just uh, proper focusing. No, that's right. No rush. Yeah, we'll do, Keith. Nice one. Get through this. He saved the big field for me, which is a bit of a worry because, yeah, I've got to get this right. But it should be straightforward enough. Just drive over the crop and bring it in. Let the arms to do the rest. Come on, Susanna. We can do this. Right there, Keith. Alright, alright, alright. I'll keep her steady, mate. 
If you need me to do anything, let me know. Alright, mate. Still with me. I hope. Oh, bloody hell's ringing me now. Tell, I can tell you what. Keep does a cracking job of this. Two seconds. I'm going to answer in a sec. Just give me a sec. Focus on this. Hello? Hey, old buddy, you right? Yeah, good. How are you? Oh, I'm alright. What are you getting on? Uh, alright, a little bit stressed. Why? What's wrong? I mean, nothing's wrong. He's asked me to do the harvesting on this last field. What, on the big one? Yeah. Bloody hell, boy. Are you doing right? Yeah, it's just, I don't know what messed it up, George. Oh, you'll be fine, buddy. You've done this before. Yeah, but not on this scale, and not when it matters. You know, it matters a lot, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't matter, so don't get it bloody wrong, but still, you'll do fine. I've got confidence in you. <laughs> right, then. Right, I've got a bloody problem. Why? What's wrong? Bloody Ross, he just rang me, asked me to come up. Are you going to go up then? Well, you asked us to go up. Well, what are we going to do then? Well, we're going to have to go bloody up to him. What, right now? I'm bloody harvesting, George. I know that, I know, and I know you've got to be out for eight, but if we're only doing two by the time, you know, you're on that last field, if we just quickly go up and get back, you know, you can carry on going and get away by eight. You, you started early. Yeah, I can do. Right, well, when I get past this headland, I'll come up. Well, we've got to get back anyway, we've got to get bloody Matthews around, pick up the bloody OSR anyway. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Alright then, George. Right, I'll do my best, mate. Right, I'll, as soon as I turn around I'm on that thing, I'll stop and I'll let Keith know. Well, all right, mate. Sorry about that. Hey, it's alright. Is he in trouble? We didn't sound bloody happy anyway, put it that way. Yeah, we best go up then, aren't we? Oh, exactly. Exactly. All right, mate. Uh, see you in a little bit. See ya. Bloody hell, fire. What's going on now? Keith, you there? <coughs> right, George has just rang me. We're going to have to stop when I get up to here. <coughs> I think so. We've got to go see Ross, so take yourself a break or something. Go make yourself a brew. I'll probably be like maybe an hour or something. I gotta get done by seven though, I need that off then. Get ready, Beanie, me and Beanie are heading out for the night. Alright, I'll be the one. Alright then. Cheers, Keith. Alright, Bob, no worry, no worry. Alright, let's get to the end and then I'll stop her here. Part back in. Right, sorted. Let's go see what the bloody problem is. Hopefully, it's nothing too bad. Last time Ross bloody tried to get hold of us, he was stuck in a cupboard. <laughs> Let's hope that's not happened again. <laughs> right, George, we're going to have to get back quick. I know, I know. Don't, don't worry. It's not like I, I want to be doing this. But, you know, a friend rang us. He needs your help, so we're going to go see him. Yeah, I know. What the hell? He's your friend now. Oh, you know he's my bloody friend. He's just a bloody miserable bugger at the same time. I oh, just don't pick very good friends, do I? <laughs> you two get on more than you know. Well, uh, well. Maybe. It's Keith, right? He's just going to get a brew and chill out for a bit while he's waiting. Oh, that's it. You can have a break, can't he? <laughs> but you're getting through that field, aren't you? Yeah, I was on second headland, so... It won't be too long. A couple of hours. Oh, well, there you go. Then you've got plenty of time. Bloody hell, you'll be finished about two hours before you need to leave. Yeah, if we get back... I'd rather get done early. Yeah, George, I've bought that table now. Well, you should be fine. He didn't say you got to do anything. Right, pull in. Oh, that's alright. At least we aren't going too far, just his house. Oh, exactly. 
Right, so let's see what the bloody hell he wants now. I know, and if I sum it out of nothing, I'm only going to be happy. Fucking just about like that. <laughs> I doubt it is if he's asked us to come up. Did he ask for both of us? I mentioned. Well, hopefully it's nothing bad. Well, maybe broken eye heel. <laughs> maybe. Hey, up, bloody hell, you all right? Bloody hell, Ross, what's happened to you? You sound right bloody miserable. Oh, I am miserable, I'm bloody worried. What's happened? Damn you what bloody happened, look at this. What is it, Scroft? Letter. I read it bloody out. Look past here, I'll read it. What's it say? Dinner good, George, I'm telling you. Dinner good at all and I'm bloody worried. Bloody hell, Ross, your face. Is it that bad? Read it for your bloody self and find out. All right, then. What's it say, George? Give me a bloody second, put my glasses on. Hey, bloody sit down, I can't hear that again. Bloody hell, fire, what is it? Come on, George, don't leave me in suspense. Ah, oh, bloody hell, two seconds, let me just bloody read it first, Scroff Christ. Bloody hell, fire, is it a bloody poem, Ross? Hey, bloody, I don't know, but just bloody read it already. Tell you, George, it's bloody horrendous, that is. Horrendous. <coughs> Ross. You grease the gears that scar the land and aid the plough in farmers' hands. For every boat you dare to turn, another field we watch, we burn. The earth speaks soft, but you ignore her cries for peace, her pleas for more. Yet know this, Ross, your time is near. As shadows grow, so grows your fear. George may think he's safe and sound, but he too walks on fragile ground. The seeds of change are deeply sown, as soon you'll reap what you have grown. Bloody hell. Heed our warning, cease your aid, or face the storm that we have made. For in our path no man can stand, when we strike next with fire in hand. Bloody hell, fire. I need a bloody stiff drink now. What's... what is that? Have a look for yourself. It sounds like a bloody threat. Ah, it bloody does sound like a threat, Scroft. Wait a minute. I'm sure I've seen this before. What are you on about? That sign. Wow, what, what bloody sign? Tell me. I'm sure I have. Well, spit it out. Where have you seen it? Cause this is your